Did you know that the L square has a super secret helpful function that allows you not to have to do math? That's right, all of these crazy numbers on the back of your L square help you to do fractions like that and it's super easy to use. Let me show you how. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Trisha, your pattern nerd friend. I'm the owner of Creative Costume Academy, and we talk about all things pattern drafting, fitting, and sewing here on my channel. Today, I want to share with you the coolest trick about having this elsewhere. If you don't already have one of these in your world, you might wanna get your hand on one of these because especially after what I have to tell you, not only is this shape just as a ruler super handy and makes pattern drafting so much easier, but the real magic is on the back. So you may have noticed if you do already have one of these, that there's all these different numbers. And yes, we have the generic one, two, three, you know, as part of the ruler, all of these markings, but what are all of these little numbers down here at the bottom? They do serve a function and it's really, really cool and really handy when you're drafting, especially if you're one of those people who struggles with math and especially if you're not a lover of fractions, because there's always these fractions, oh, we need a fourth of something, we need an eighth of something, we need a half of something, right? And if you don't already know, I have done a video called Measuring Tape Math because I know that a lot of people struggle with math and I always try to help in little ways where you can just cheat the system because why make things hard if they don't have to be? So I wanna give you a closer look instead of just showing you like this, what it all is, I'm gonna go over to the table, we can lay it down, you can take a peek and let me show you exactly how this magic works and why you're gonna want one. Okay, so here's a closer look at this L-square Taylor's ruler. The front part of it is pretty generic rulers. We've got our one to 14 on the short side and our one to 24 on the long side. But where the magic is, is on the other side. So notice you still have your one to 24 and your one to 12 on the inside of this side of the ruler, but then you have all of these little numbers along the edge and you have a middle section of numbers here. That is how it really helps you with doing some fractions, doing some divisions actually is probably a better term to use. So let me show you how it works. This middle section here, so right here it says two thirds, right here it says a third, a sixth, a twelfth here, we've got a sixteenth, I think there's even a thirty second, I don't know that I've ever used those in a twenty fourth, those might be trickier to use, but these are all really handy and you've got halves going over here. So those parts of the ruler are telling you if you want a half of, let's say, 18, then the number right across from it is the half of 18. So that would be 9, right? We know that. Half of 16 is 8. Half of 17 is 8 and a half. And you go down here, half of 23 is 11 and a half, and so on and so forth. But it works for each of these different sections. So a quarter, so if you want a fourth of something, because you're doing a lot of, especially in tailoring when you're drafting from scratch, you want the fourth of a chest measurement plus two inches of ease. I, I'm just throwing numbers out. But so if you want a fourth of 18, you're gonna go across, that would be four and a half would be a fourth of 18. So these numbers over here are the whole numbers. And if you want a fourth, an eighth, a half of those numbers, then you just go across to the other set of rulers. So a fourth of 22 would be five and a half. A fourth of 21 would be five and a quarter. So it's really super easy to do some quick division. If you want a third of 20, it's seven and a quarter. If you want a third of 15, it's five. You know, two thirds, that could be really tricky to do. Two thirds of 18 is 12. Two thirds of 16 is, it looks like 11, maybe 11 and three eighths, or maybe just right in between. 
yeah, 11 and 3 eighths. You might want to get something that's straight to kind of like, you know, it's, it's kind of not quite 11 and 3rd. I'd have to pull out my calculator to double check, but you get the idea, right? And it can really help you if you're needing to know these numbers quickly and you already have them right here on your ruler. So isn't that like the coolest thing ever? Don't you love this ruler so much more? I was just blown away the first time I heard about those things. And honestly, I forget about it from time to time. And then I'm reminded and I go, oh yeah, why am I not, why am I making things hard? So hopefully this helps you. If you don't already own one, go and get one. Fairgate is the ruler that I have. They can be a little bit pricey, but it's really handy. This is one I've had from school. So definitely worth the investment and it's something you'll have for a really long time. That is all we have to say about the handy Taylor Square or L Square as it's more commonly known. And if you are loving this kind of content, loving hearing about tips and tricks regarding pattern making, fitting and sewing, I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. Definitely give me a like I love that even better if you can share and turn on those notifications so you know every time we post that you don't miss out on something cool like this. That's all we have for you today, but thank you so much for joining and watching and I'll see you next time.